Shalom Israel, this is Sister Kana, and first and foremost, I have to give all glory and praise to Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, Bahashim Yishaya, Wa Kodash Wa. Tawa Bawakwa, good morning in ancient Phoenician Hebrew. Okay, guys, behind me, I'm starting off my day early. It's about 8.30 in the morning, and I'm about to go to the gym and get myself um, some breakfast. But I just wanted to show you that I'm almost finished. I finished some of the dresses, and I just wanted you to see. This is the, the pink linen, and, um, you know, I made it a simple dress with a tie. And I haven't finished because I'm going to put the fringes on the bottom. But I do have a hat, the sun hat, and I just thought it was so cute. Okay, and underneath, I put the satin. This is the satin um, undergarment underneath. And I just wanted to show you that I put fringes this time on the undergarment. Because in case you have a dress or something that don't have fringes on it, I thought it was maybe like a good idea to put fringes on the undergarment, your slip, right? And which is nice. And, you know, I'm going to put um, fringes on this pink as well. I'm going to make some homemade fringes, actually. I'm going to show you that process. But I got the sun hat, and then I'm also um, finishing up the blue. I'm going to put sleeves on this as well and make a nice little swoop, uh, you know, a little plain. Um, <clears throat> And I'm thinking of ways to dress it up, even the pink. I may do some embroidery or something, work on some up embroidery. But basically, this one is done, and I just got to add the fringes. And this is the linen. And this is a, <clears throat> you know, all of them are linen, but this is an Italian linen, they say. It's very thin, very fine. So um, it's really nice, but it just feels different. So, you know, just getting used to that, some Italian linen. Very nice. Now, here's the yellow. Uh, I also finished this one, and I put um, some gold trimming on it, which is really nice, and I put it as well on the hat, so it makes it really nice, and it has no sleeves, and very sheer thin. This is also the Italian linen, and also on the bottom, I put a little strip, and I will also put the, the fringes and the borders of blue on this as well. Hold on a second, that's my alarm. Praise the high of Shia. And I've got the matching hat. And underneath I have the cotton uh, slip or undergarment as well. And, um, you know, because these are very thin and they're see-through in the sun. So you're going to definitely need a slip. But I just wanted to show you guys the, you know, uh, process of this whole finishing these dresses and then I have this peach one that I'm gonna work on right here I didn't start that I have a few I got white I got a black dress a white dress I want to do a black jacket but this is the peach that I'm gonna um, finish I cut it out all of them are cut I just didn't have time to sew as of yet so I will be doing that <clears throat> so praise the high of Hashem Shai so let me start my day and I'll come back okay hold on Okay, Shalom, guys. Okay, I'm getting ready to just eat a little breakfast and prepare. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly what my beautiful day is like and how it starts. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, so here we are. I'm about to blend me up a smoothie. So I put some of the, the raspberries and the strawberries, and I'm going to cut up a banana. But, baby, let me tell you about these peaches. Oh, my goodness, guys. They are delicious. So sweet. I'm going to pass by him again. I'm probably going to have to get me some more. They are delicious. I already rinsed everything off and, you know, but I just want to, uh, mm, juicy. You know how peaches usually are kind of dry? Mm -mm. This peaches is amazing. I was like, oh my God. The best peach I've ever had, really. I usually don't like to buy peaches so much because they're really dry, you know. But I figured I, I, I cut them up and put it in my breakfast. Oh my god. Mmm. Delicious. But I'm about to have my breakfast, so I'm showing you. I do, I put um the oatmeal 
in the with some water in the refrigerator overnight. When I first started, I was eating this whole thing in the morning. <laughs> it was like one serving, but now it's three servings. It lasts me three days. So this is, um, I just have a little bit on the end. So this is what I got. And I added some raspberries and I'm going to cut up some of this. I'm going to cut up some of this um, peach because it's so good, y'all. And it's so juicy. Oh, my God. Yes, baby. It's really, really good. So I'm going to cut that up. And I'm gonna drizzle. Let me get on there. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of my date syrup. Okay, my little sweetener. And then I have my breakfast. Okay, and also I wanted to show you the cashews. I let them soak overnight in water. These are smoked cashews. I love them. I buy a lot of them. So I um, put a, a you know a glass full. I got my big jug. And I filled it up so it soaked overnight and I will be using this to make the cheese. I didn't make it because I had to soak it. So maybe when I come back today from the gym before I go to work, you know, to the office, I am, uh, you know, then I'll, I'll make it. But I got all the stuff. Let me show you. I have the, uh, bought some, found some nutritional yeast. And I bought me some seasoning. I bought me some more thyme. Yay! So I got everything that I need. Okay? And so, you know, I'm ready to start my day. So I just want to really just thank you guys for those who check in, check in the channel. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, praise the Haya Bahashimi Shaya. Y'all are awesome. And, um, you know, I, I did a transition from, you know, oh, I dropped it. Hold on. I, I did a transition from a gathering in Jordan over to this channel, just showing you guys that we can make it outside of Babylon. Everyday life is a beautiful life, guys, especially in the summer and spring. You know, winter, I can't take it, but praise Ahaya is amazing, and we can make it, brothers and sisters. And this is what this channel is all about, showing you my businesses, how I kind of do and I construct things and what I'm doing. So, I just want to keep you guys abreast, and please continue to tune in, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, brothers and sisters, join me, follow me, until you prepare to come out of Babylon, you can see from day to day, there's nothing to really worry about, you know, I wish I could even be more, you know, show you more, but I'm just moving around so fast, guys, you, you know, isn't the time going so fast, right, the time is going, I'm, amazingly fast the coming of Yeshaya is coming is coming is coming you know and for those who are still not awakened you know I feel bad for them because they're just going through this everyday motion thinking that everything is okay and they see stuff like the stock market crashing all this stuff is going on all the murder kill 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 in Babylon but it's not enough to wake these people up and I'm sure they see something is going on you know this stuff is so good, but I have a lot of fruit. I put all the plums, I put apple, and the peaches now, and the um, raspberries. So I got a lot. Plus, I put some cinnamon. I have bought some cinnamon bark. Let me show you. I bought the bark, and then I I used the blender, and I chopped it up. So this is what I have left, but I put it in my cereal every morning. Okay? So that's awesome. So just it's a lot of flavor in here. Plus the um the nuts, the uh, not the cashews. I use the other uh, nuts with the raisins. All that is in here. So it's really good. That's my um. I think I got a message on my phone. Okay, so I'm starting my day. I'm, after I finish this, I'm going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to come back. And if I have time, I will start the cashew. Now, I don't have a high, you know, I have this small blender, guys. I don't have a high power blender. I probably will invest in one now. You know, because to, to make the cashews, you need a strong blender. 
And I just usually make my smoothies. Oh, yeah, I got to make my smoothie before I go. So I have it, and it'll last me in the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator a couple days, and it'll last me. Because I'm always rushing. Because I like to get back in time. You know, I spend a couple of hours at the gym. So I like to get up early. I really want to get to the gym by 7. Be back here by 9, 10 o'clock. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm still like leaving about about 9. Here go my smoothie, guys. I made it. It's kiwi, orange, apple, banana, and the raspberry. You see how strong that raspberry is with the um, strawberries. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly that I did make it. And I'm getting. I'm, I'm not finished my breakfast yet. But I'm almost done. And I'm going to be getting running out of here. Okay. I'm finishing up. But I want to tell y'all that um, I went on a rant. <laughs> I went on a rant. You know, this channel, <clears throat> you know, gives an opportunity for me to like, you know, the show, the sh to show another side of Sister Kana, a lighter side of Sister Kana, even though it's hard for me to make this transition because I'm really, you know, I really am about the most highest business and I'm, you know, I stay focused on those things and I'm trying not to like have this channel so engulfed in, you know, all the intricacies of what's going on in Babylon and how we seeing things, um, you know, starting to unfold. But I, I went back, I had a relapse guys. I had, um, I went on a rant and I'm going to upload that video. I haven't uploaded it yet. And I did it a couple of days ago. I just haven't really had time, but I just want to prepare you guys that, um, yeah, I went on a rant. I went, I, you know, I went back a little bit, but I needed to. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that I see and that I'm seeing. And then I'm going to tell you about some other things that I've been doing. You know, <laughs> I'm still doing it, guys. And I'm going to show you clips. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll download it and put it up on my page so that you, you can see. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it's hard for me to make this transition of just being like kind of. You know, because I'm so much used to talking about what the Most High has sent me to do and say that now that he's kind of moved me in another direction, it's kind of hard for me just to like be regular and talk about regular things because my life isn't regular and, you know, the regular things don't matter to me. So I'm kind of forcing myself to, you know, be regular and day to day when all I think about is the most high and what's happening and how, you know, to move and, you know, what do he want me to do and what should I say, you know? So, you know, just understand guys that this is a process for me and I'm getting back to, you know, being kind of regular or normal, but this is so unnormal. Like nothing is normal guys. And I don't see how people could just like go on from day to day and act like uh, nothing is happening when everything um, points to Yeshaya is coming. Everything is pointing to Yeshaya, our king, is coming. And this world is not our world. So it's kind of awkward for me. And I, I, even when I was in Babylon, y'all, I was off, awkward. I was, a, I was a chicken, you know, like a, a fish out of water. And I felt like I was a fish out of water, but I didn't understand. But now that I do, you know, I can't really fake it, guys. I am who I am. Praise the higher. You know what I'm saying? And I have to be who I, the most high, you know, made me. And that's about the most high. Like, everything I see is a higher Bahashim Yeshaya. Everything I do is about a higher Bahashim Yeshaya. And so even me doing my businesses, the Hebrew, Hebrewism, that's about Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya. I told you travel, that's about Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya. 
the, our brothers and sisters getting out of Babylon. Everything, mm -hmm. even I told you entertainment, is me singing the praises of Ahaya. You know, like nothing I do is not about Ahaya. And I just don't know how to kind of be regular to, you know, to appear regular to for you guys so that y'all will see some sense of normalcy. So that's what this channel is, me showing you the businesses so, so that you can get a sense of normalcy with Kana. But just don't get it twisted, guys. Just trust that, you know, it's really all about the most high for me. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to make it regular. I do like, you know, health and getting into shape. And I, I, I got out of shape because I didn't want to focus on, you know, exercising and diet. And I just wanted to focus on the most high. So, you know, part of me was going through transitions, a little scared, eating, you know, just, you know, just a lot. You know, I was being threatening, so threatened and you know, giving death threats and stuff. So part of me was afraid and fearful, you know, so eating out of anxiety kind of thing. But that's, it's never been me. I've always been this type of person like that, like to work out, like healthy things, chose to work out all the time. You know, that's who I was, you know. So I'm trying to incorporate that back because I like to live healthy. I don't want to, you know, be out of shape or out of breath or mo can't move, can't run. You know, that's not me at all. So praise Ahaya for the, this opportunity to take the time, but I just wanted to share with you guys that it's so, like, feels awkward to me, and I don't know if I, I come off awkward, because I am. I feel like, you know, you know, I need to focus more, but this is part of the focus, me getting in shape, me preparing, me, you know, getting my business straight and things like that so I can get things for the wilderness and, you know, prepare you know, it's all preparation. So I just want to share that with you guys. And also that I did a, 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 a rant. And I even forgot what I was talking about. But it was a rant. And so I'm going to upload it so that you guys can see it. So check for it. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. So that, you know, people can just see that there's life outside of Babylon. And it's not what people are trying to promote it to be, guys. You don't have to be fearful. We can make it. Find your niche. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be all peaches and roses, but nothing is. Living in Babylon is not peaches and roses. It's a hard struggle. It's a stressful life. You don't know if you're going to walk out and get shot. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's not, you know, it's just something that you're used to. But trust me, you can get used to something else. And it's a better life. It's a better quality of life. Even living in a small apartment or, you know, you're not in a big home or whatever, or even us going into tents. It's a just relief that we know learning who we are, coming back to the most high, learning our language, learning our st Lord's statutes and commandments, getting to know the power that we serve. You know, it's, it's a blessing. We have, we are a people. We have a land and we have a language. And this is the process of getting back to it. And so... You can readjust and rethink this whole thing called life and understand, you know, operating in your purpose, what the most high intended for you, you know, come back to him, brothers and sisters. It's important. Get out of Babylon. And uh, yeah, that was some of the things I was saying. So I'm not going to say it now. I'm going to let you see the rant. Okay. But bless you. I know I keep coming back on because I have a lot to say. I'll be back. Okay, Shalom, brothers and sisters, I'm back. I went to the gym. I, I didn't go into the um, jacuzzi today because I couldn't do it. It was I was too out of it yesterday, so I said, let me opt, opt out. So I'm here. I'm back in the home, and I'm getting ready to leave. I only have a short time. I got to be at the office. So I just wanted to quickly do the, cat, the smoked cashew um, vegan cheese. And so I just wanted to, um, you know, do that for you because I, I put it in the title of the last video, but I didn't actually make it. So I wanted to make it. So I, I guys, I have a cheap blender. I don't have one of those uh, turbo. So I'm praying that the cashews will get, um, you know, broken down smooth because most of them had the, um, what you, how you say the process, food processes. And, you know, heavy-duty blenders, and I don't have one. I have a cheap one, guys. So, so I have my cashews, which I soaked overnight, okay? And I'm going, I, I like the, the smoke 
you know, cashews smoked. So I don't want to dump out the water. I just want to use this, you know, put it in there with the water and everything because I want it to, I want to get the smoke flavor. Yummy. Okay, so I put that in the blender and um, I have some, I told you I went and, you know, got the nutritional yeast. Baby, this little thing is it's expensive here, but I also, I got this one because I know, I know this brand. I bought it before. But they had a cheaper one, which I got, because this one was 11 JD. That's expensive, 11. And this one, I didn't know until I bought it. I, I didn't know, because it says it, it looks like another language. It looks like um, maybe French or something. But it does have um, brewer's yeast flakes. But I wasn't sure. I didn't. It looked like a cookie on the picture. So I was like, dang, I wanted to just get the cheaper one. But I, I said, let me just get it. And then next time I know. So this is actually the same thing. It's um, the tissue and yeast. So next time I know. And I'll have, you know, I have this. But I won't be buying this anymore. It's too expensive. So, uh, but, you know, I, I got it because I knew, I knew the brand and I knew that what it was. So, praise the high about Shia. So, okay, so now... I'm going to put the nutritional yeast inside. I'm not measuring it. I'm eyeballing it. But, you know, you know, they said about a cup. So I will put, put the nutritional yeast. And if I need more, I will add more. I got some uh, adobo Himalaya pink salt. And, you know, I, I, it's almost one. And I have a whole bag of um, Himalaya salt. So, but it's not that uh, salty and stuff. You know, which is good because you don't need, need a whole lot of salt. And then I have some garlic powder. And so I'll put some of that. Now, I've watched several videos on this. This is my first time actually making actually making the vegan cheese. And I'm rushing, guys, because I got to go. Okay. So let me put the garlic uh, powder. One of the girls who I saw who made it, she put carrots, and I was like, wow. And I guess the carrots was for the color, but I wanted, to, I opted for this recipe because none of this stuff is really nutrition new. Even the, the nutritional yeast is not really nutritional. It's yeast, and it's really not that good for us anyway. And cashew nuts, cashews are not that nutritional. You know, out of the nuts family, all of nuts, I don't think cashews is one of the most nutritional so i want after to put the carrots in there at least we'll get a little something something you know so i'm gonna put the uh carrots in oh no i have to wait so let me uh because i don't know if this is gonna break down the let me take some of that out break down the even the cashews so i don't want to put it all together let me just do that first so hold on i'll be right back and i'm going to first blend this and i hope and pray that it and I'll, it says to add water as you need it, but I still use that water that is soaked in, which I don't want to, um, you know, take out the hickory flavor, the hickory smoke flavor, because that's amazing. So I'll be right back. Let me, because uh, I have to plug it in over there, so I won't be able to put it on camera. So hold on, let me blend it. Okay, guys, so I finished. Here it is. It's done, and it's cream creamy it's very creamy a little you know a little watery but it's a very clean creamy and it tastes delicious i like it so praise the holy Michelle. this is gonna be it mm-hmm mm -hmm. and it's um i'm gonna put this on my my um salads and this would be better i like this even though i like the hummus <clears throat> i like the creamy taste of this mm -hmm. I, this is my first time making it i always wanted to make it so i did it praise god i got a big you know thing full i'm gonna have to find something to put it in here's my smoothie all right guys i'm gonna run out i'm on my way to the office i'll do a little video while i'm there but i have a lot of work to do so i give all glory and praise to ahaya ashore ahaya bahashim and shaya wa kodashua wa 
See you later, people. Shalom. Guys, everybody had notes. Me too. You know, I had my own notes too. But, you know, we have to work on it. Somebody has to say, you know, so that we can get better. Shalom, Israel. I made it to the office. Praise the higher Bahashim Shaya. I am here. And I do, I have so much to do. I have emails and I have calls to make. So I have a lot to do. But I just wanted to check in again. I told you, you know, that I was going to be here. Praise the higher. So uh i had a wonderful day and i i, I kind of gave you guys a glimpse of my day you know so probably more today than i did before but you know as it goes along i'll get more and more um i'm just so thankful and i'm praising the higher but um that um that um nutritional yeast with the smoked cashews or Mr. Bahan, so I can't wait, but I didn't even get a chance to really eat it with my salad because I didn't have time, and I have to wait till I get home this evening to eat, eat it, so I can't wait for that, then I'll probably be good and hungry for the salad, because guys, after I, <laughs> that salad sat in the refrigerator for two days, I haven't eaten it since I did the last video, because I can really go you know, without eating it. So I've been chewing on these nuts and eating the fruits and the smoothies. And in the morning, I have the breakfast, I have the oatmeal with the fruits. So that kind of holds me over to most of the day. So, um, you know, I don't start getting hungry till like now. I'm getting really hungry. It's going on um, maybe about four, four. So I am, you know, I'm getting hungry now. So I have to wait till I get home. You know, I don't want to really buy anything or buy junk. You know, I want to stick to the plan. But I just want to say that the five kilos is actually like 11 pounds. I checked it out. It's 11 pounds. So I lost 11 pounds, guys. Yay! But I have ways to go. So I will, I'm, you know, I said I'm thinking about going to, um, beyond the 30 days to another 60 days and hopefully the, I can do the whole 90 I'm, I, like I said before I feel really good so um, you know I'm really enjoying it you know at first I was feeling really guilty about not eating meat you know because I know it's according to the law and I really you know but I know that Dan you did do a this type of diet so you know I don't feel that bad and I'm getting used to it but the thing is that I'm not really big salad eater you know, I have to force myself to eat salads. So this is what's, you know, what's, what's making it so hard. But it's not like like total fasting all together. So, you know, I can do it, you know. And I've always been like this healthy type eater because I used to, I used to eat wheatgrass and all kind of other stuff. Let me see this one. Hold on. I might have to hang up, guys. Let's see. Okay, so they'll probably try to call me back. But um, sometimes my phone will just be cutting off, and that's what happens. But anyway, um, yeah, like I used to love wheatgrass. I used to make aloe vera. I used to always do smoothies and all that kind of stuff before anyway. So, you know, it's not foreign, but it's just once I came to Jordan and I found out the truth, I kind of was just eating, eating, eating out of, you know, nerves and, you know, I wasn't really into the exercise and I was just totally blown away by the truth and what the most high was showing me. So, you know, it took me all this time to really like get a grasp on what the most high wanted me to do and have me doing. So now that I can concentrate on, uh, you know, like losing weight and things like that. Now I wasn't totally unhealthy, but I was kind of eating whatever I wanted to eat, like fried chicken, y'all saw. I did, I like, ate whatever I wanted to eat. But I kind of knew, like, I always know how to bounce back because I've always been in, into working out, running. And the way I was eating, I'm surprised I wasn't, like, 300 pounds. But because I worked out so much, you know, all my life, 
you know, it was always a part of my regimen. I didn't, it allowed me, my metastasin, my metabolism to, you know, maintain the weight. So I got up there though. I was like 200 pounds, guys. And because I'm tall, you can't really tell. But my, you saw how big my stomach was. I was big. So, you know, to, um, it helped me because I, I'm tall. But I had to get that weight off me, and I'm so glad. And I really couldn't focus on it while I was dealing, you know, with the most high, you know. So uh, I am thank the most high now. You know, he let me, you know, have this time, and I can focus on working out. Because you got to be focused with that. You know, working out and, you know, eating right and all that stuff, that's a whole focus within itself, getting your temple right. You know, so... I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm at this place, and I'm glad you are on the journey with me that you get to see, you know, because I plan to lose some more weight. You know, I probably start looking like going. When I really start losing weight, I do look, you know, going in my face, getting skinny and stuff, but I'd rather be at a small weight, you know what I'm saying, because I want to be in um, at my best, my best um I can be, you know, so that's what this is all about, I need to be all around healthy, you know, going into the wilderness, uh, not overweight, not sluggish, you know, you should be able to run five miles if you have to, you know, you should be able to run five miles daily, and, you know, that's what, I've always ran five miles when I did cardio at the gym, that was my goal, I did five miles every day, and I think you know, us being in our best shape of our lives is important. We're getting ready to go into this wilderness. You need to be able to do fasting and, you know, be temperate, you know, with your eating and all kinds of things. Just have your whole temple under control. And so this is part of it. And this is why I'm, I'm doing it more so to just get a hold of everything, get my body in shape, get my mind and spirit right, heal you know, not help, holding on to any baggage and not dealing with people with baggage either. You know, I don't want to take on those type of spirits. So I suggest, and this is why I'm, you know, putting this out there and putting myself out there of like how I'm eating day to day and working and building, you know, I'm, I'm putting it out there so that we can see that we can do it, brothers and sisters. We can change, we can heal, we can progress we can get better. We can live outside of America and we can make it. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing holding us back. If a higher is with us, who can be against us? So we have to start walking in that power, the power of a higher and knowing who we serve and, you know, being right and in line with him so that nothing can, you know, interfere. You know, we're not looking to be going back on the curses and you know, be having the most high at war with us anymore. We, we we are at the time now where we're trying to align, be in perfect alignment with our creator, a higher, a higher. So all of this works one together, guys. Getting your body right, your mind right, your spirit right, getting your temple in order, being in one in spirit with a higher, a higher, through his son, Yeshua. So, you know, I just, you know, want to encourage you that we can make it outside of Babylon. Y'all can see it's been a whole month practically. Y'all see me here at the office. I'm doing my work, you know, doing a lot of different things, um, you know, building my temple, getting my weight down and trying to, you know, grasp this whole thing as I prepare to go to this wilderness to meet my makeup you know, a higher Bahashim Yeshaya, you know, in that wilderness to cleanse and prepare me, I pray and hope to make it to the kingdom with Yeshaya. And even after the thousand years with a higher Bahashim Yeshaya. You understand? So that's what this is all about. And I'm glad to share it with you. And I hope you, you know, it does something for you. I hope it gives you encouragement that you, uh, we can, Make it, oh yeah, I got my phone. It's, I got it fixed, phase of higher. It's working. So, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm, I, let me tell you, I want to, I want to do 
I don't know how many more kilo. Maybe I might lose 10 more kilo. And that's a lot of pounds. So that's like 22 pounds, you know. If I, you know, I already lost five and that was like 11. If I lose 10 more kilo, that's 20 something pounds. And, you know, so I will look small and gaunt probably. But I don't mind, you know, because I don't want to be heavy. And I don't want to be holding on a lot of weight. I want to be able to physically fit. If I have to hold myself up for whatever reason. Right now, I, I can't even lift, you know, I can't even do a chin up, you know. And it's, as strong as I am and in shape as I am, doing a pull up is like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so what if I had to hold myself up for a minute, you know, a, a certain amount of time, you know. You'd be in trouble. I'd be finished. You know, and, and that's some food for thought for you guys, you know. Can you hold up your own body weight? If you had to help somebody, can you pull somebody or carry somebody or, you know, anything? Can you do it? You know, are, are you in enough shape where you take care of yourself where you can, you know, sustain your own weight or maybe help somebody else? You know, and as women, you know, we have to think like that too. You know, if your sisters, you're married, you have your husband. What happens if your husband get hurt? Can you help your husband? Can you pull your husband? Can you, you know, lift him up to keep him afloat or abreast so that he can breathe? You know, sisters, we have to, you know, get ourselves together. Along with these men, they have to do it too. But, you know, praise the higher by Hashem So, just want to, you know, give you some food for thought. You know, that's how Sister Connor is thinking. That's on my mind. We have a lot to prepare for. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to be ready for. The coming of Jeshaya is, is he's coming. The birth pains are here. And, um, you know, we just got to be ready. My mind, body, and spirit. If you're dealing with any ailments, it's time to cleanse and heal. You know, start eating right. You know, fasting and praying is a must. Stay as close to Ahaya as you can. He is our armor and our shield in the time of trouble. But see how I just can't get away from that, you know? I'm at work. But I um, I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Bahashim Mishaya. And I pray you having a blessed day. I have a lot to do. I told you I got phone calls to make. I got sent out some emails. And I will see you probably tomorrow. I'll tune in tomorrow. Okay, um, like, comment, subscribe, encourage. I just want to be a blessing and encourage you all, let you know that there is life outside of Babylon. We can live, we can survive, and we will survive. Praise the higher Bahashim Yishayim. We're going to do it, Israel. I pray you're making your way out of Babylon. I pray you see these birth pains. I pray you're getting out. Okay, Shalom.